So yeah, hi guys and welcome back to the channel and in this particular video we are going to see how we can do indexing in Django and uh, if you don't know like what indexing is I hope you people have you people know some background of databases so what indexing is indexing is if you have a very high amount of data if you have a very large amount of data and uh, you want to, to get data very fast if you want to filter with data very fast in that case you need to index your database because if performance is extremely important in many consumer products like if you have some e-commerce application some payment system or if you have any kind of application in, you, in which in that application you have very very high amount of data in that particular case you need to index your like uh, you can say database so that it can uh, respond respond as quickly as it want and you can filter it out in a very easy way and you can do a lot of things and what behind indexes that it creates a kind of a b tree structure if you are familiar with data structure let me tell you let me show you what's b tree okay so let's go to this blog or uh, this thing okay so this is what b tree looks like if you are familiar with data structures you know that what this kind of data structures look like it's a kind of a b tree and it's a kind of a self balancing tree and if you have heard of let red black tree avian trees all these yeah you can and learn about it in a lot of things it's very useful if you are creating some large application and you need to uh, create indexing so let's see how we can create index in django so what i have done till now i have created a project and in that project we have a model you can say student and we have four fields id name email and addresses okay and now what we what we want to do is we want to create some indexes okay so that it ca we can if we want to get some data according to the email according to the email according to the address or you can say uid or id we can get extremely fast so let me show you how you can do indexing uh, basically django already supports indexes uh, if you want to read more about django indexing you can uh, search it out okay so this is the main documentation and you can read about it i'm gonna give you the overview how we can do indexes and it's extremely very powerful okay <coughs> it's a kind of a da um, database concept but how you can implement it in django i'm gonna tell you and we are using mysql for this particular operation so that you can see how b3 structure look like and uh, let's uh, start so what you need to do uh, if you if you want to modify some behavior of that particular class you need to add meta class so we are gonna add meta class and meta and to provide this we need to provide the indexes and in indexes what do you want to provide so we have a models dot index and on which particular feed you want to index you can create a combination of index or you can create an index of specific field okay so right now we are going to create a combination of index so that if you want to filter according to the name and email address you can filter out very easily okay so we are going to pass name over here and uh, okay name and after that we are going to pass email over here okay so now we are good to go and now let's migrate python manage.py make migrations okay uh an index must be used expression index must be named to use expression okay we need to pass field over here so we need to pass fields equal to and we need to pass a list okay now we can run migrations so you can see it created a migration file and let's show what migration file it created okay so you can see this is a migration file which was created when we hit make migration and it so yeah now you can see like we have successfully run our indexes and su successfully run our migration command and what i have done i have added three all the three fields name email and address so that it can create a big b3 and uh, now we we are going to see how indexes look like so we're going to type show index and uh, from and we need to add the table name so the table name is currency student and let's click over it 
and now you can see we have uh, three indexes i have done three migration first one was for email email and address and sequences is three that means this is the last index which is pointing to this one e name email and address now if you like if you want to perform any get query filter query it's gonna like uh, you can say uh run very fast and if, if you want to see more about b tree and those things you can check it out and you can read more documentation on then how you can add more indexing and then how you can get more power to this particular thing so i hope this is it for the video and you people have enjoyed and if you have any error if you want to know any important topic do comment in the comment section i will try to help you out and one more very important thing uh if you want to become a full stack developer in just six months with a minimum pl placement of six lpa newton school is just for you and what's newton school newton school is an e-learning platform where you can get job above five lpa minimum 5 lpa and you do you don't need to have pay any amount until you get a job of 5 lpa and you can see what are the companies which hire newton school student these all are top product based companies and the best part is you can if like you don't need to you don't need any tech degree you, if you are from any background you have done ba bcom bsc you can go in newton school uh, enroll in the newton school course and uh, the average placement is of safe 7 lpa 90 percent placement rate and there's a lot of other options you can follow and there will be a link in the description section you can check and if you want to enroll you can enroll in the course and uh, this is it for the video uh please do subscribe and share this video meet in the next video goodbye and thank you